everybody, Ray the Doc is back again with a little over 10 days left until a welcome to Raccoon City is in theaters. I'm excited and I hope you are too. Recently, Capcom released their Nightmare trailer, which showed a bunch of awesome new Easter eggs and other interesting things in the movie. And today I'm going to break down this trailer and show you all the Easter eggs and other exciting things that I found. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please help me get discovered by liking and sharing this video. If you'd like more content, then please consider subscribing. Now let's get the breakdown started. We start off in the orphanage. I'm not sure who this girl is meant to be. I don't know if she's significant or not, but this is definitely the orphanage. And it looks like there's somebody hiding in that little fort. Hello? Here's Lisa telling us to shush. This is a pretty eerie looking scene. It's not clear if this is still in the orphanage. However, it does imply that it might be. What's your name? It does appear that in this movie, Lisa is hiding out in the orphanage, which is definitely a twist from the games, but I'm excited to learn more about why. In the prior trailer, Lisa does appear to be friendly because you see her standing with Leon and Claire, so maybe she's helpful in this movie. We'll find out. I think this is Sherry Birkin watching her father, Dr. William Birkin, mutate after injecting himself with the G-Virus. It sounds like Lisa just killed someone. Either that was bone breaking or it was her chains on her wrist. It's unclear. I believe this is Sherry. Lisa has her hands on her, which is probably traumatizing, but we don't know what's really going on here. Looks horrifying, though. Here. For anybody familiar with any version of Resident Evil 2, this scene should be pretty clear. This is meant to be the journalist who appears to be helping Claire, Ben Bertolucci. In the game, he is locked in a cell in the police department by Chief Brian Irons for investigating Umbrella. In RE2, he gets killed in a few different ways. One is by a mutated Dr. Birkin, and another, he gets killed by Mr. X. With no proof that Mr. X is in this movie, however, I hope he does show up. I must assume this is the work of Dr. Birkin, especially considering what looks like a cavity in his chest. In the original RE2, Birkin infects him and a G embryo bursts out of his chest. I'm assuming that this is a scene where Brad Vickers is sitting in the chopper waiting for Alpha Team to investigate the mansion, and this is a zombie that comes in, attacks him in the prior trailers. Here's the film reel of the Ashford twins, which has been shown in prior trailers. The Umbrella Corporation's been experimenting on this town. Claire finds some proof that Umbrella has been using the orphanage as a testing facility for its experiments. ...since we were kids. People are getting sick. We have to stop Umbrella. I believe this is meant to be the trophy room for Resident Evil 1. Show me your hands! This is Kenneth J. Sullivan, the point man for Bravo Team, being eaten by the first zombie discovered in Resident Evil 1. <laughs> What the f The world needs to know what's really going on. This is Dr. William Birkin likely after being shot by the Umbrella response team who came to steal his G-Virus. He then injects himself with the G-Virus and is clearly mutating. Our first look at Dr. Birkin's mutating right arm. I'm assuming this is meant to be G2, Dr. Birkin's second mutation, where he has a pretty gruesome right arm. This scene looks pretty incredible. Here's Lisa again, clearly in the orphanage, as you can tell by the beds to the left, and then the umbrella poster on the right side, which has been shown previously to be in the orphanage. Here's Dr. Birkin choking Chris Redfield with his mutated right arm. This is significant because in the games, Chris never crosses paths with Dr. Birkin. Get this scene sort of reminds me of the intro to RE2 when Leon shoots a zombie that's about to attack Claire. I wonder if this is the introduction to a character not yet shown in the trailers. It does appear to be a male, so maybe Barry? That would be cool. Of this town. Here we have another shot of G5, the final mutation of Dr. Birkin. The CGI of this has gotten a lot of criticism from people, and I have to say that I think people are being unfairly critical about it. It really looks good, especially when you consider what it is, a gigantic mutated monstrosity. I actually believe that the CGI for this has improved since the first trailer showing it, where I do agree it looked a little silly, but I didn't think that looked bad either. I think that people are going to be pleasantly surprised. Resident Evil, welcome to Raccoon City. Rated R, exclusively in movie theaters, November 24th. There you go. A bunch of new and exciting Easter eggs and plot points. I am so excited for this movie. How about you? Again, 
If you enjoyed this video, please help me get discovered by liking and sharing this video. If you'd like more content, then please consider subscribing. Please check out my other Welcome to Raccoon City videos where I found other Easter eggs and the Meet the Cast video to learn more about the actors and actresses. Thank you for watching.